Bucks GM Jason Light said, and I quote, it's been an awesome two years and now hopefully three plus years, if not more than three with him. I had in Teddy back with me. Teddy, you know Tom Brady a little bit. You've been through a few things with him. Whether or not he wins his eighth Super Bowl, which doesn't even sound like a real My thing. Gosh. Do you believe he's done after this season? I, I thought he was. I thought he meant it when he said he was done last season, Max. Um, and, and now I, I can see him looking at it as, I mean, why not? A year-to-year thing? I mean, it's... And also, what if it doesn't go well for him this year? Say he does have an injury or he takes a hit and maybe it's a calf or maybe it's an elbow or something like that prevents him from playing at the highest level that he wants to play. Do you think he'd be done then saying, okay, well, I can't do it anymore? I don't think that's in him. I think he'd want to come back and have another comeback season. It's just, I'm just, I'm just done doubting the guy. I mean, I think that if he wanted to play a couple more, it's possible. I think maybe another Super Bowl championship could possibly call it quits for him. But still, this guy and just keeps, quit? keeps finding ways. Yeah. You know, it's funny because Brady, two years in Tampa, he won the Super Bowl a great season. He followed that up by leading the league in every single input, like touchdowns, passes, yards, everything. He's on his way to a Hall of Fame career as a Tampa Bay Buck. Diana, this is nuts. <laughs> what are you hearing about Brady's future with Tampa Passes? And at his age, you're, you're not pointing out the fact that he's doing this. Old. He's not out. First of all, if you're in your 40s, it's not that old. I'm sticking up for my guy Teddy right now. I'm nowhere near that age. But that being said, I'm this old is and, I, and, he's, and I'm, he's almost my age. This is new territory for us, right? We're having a conversation about somebody that none of us can relate to because none of us are this great at anything. He has proven over and over again. He is sort of on a planet of his own, the decisions he makes. I appreciate Teddy knows him personally. And look at him. He seems confused. I don't know what the guy is doing. Nobody knows. I'm not even sure if Tom knows at this point. I do know one thing. We've we've all bet against him at some point in our careers as analysts, reporters, all this. It's a dumb mistake to do it because Tom Brady motivated and feeling like he's already missed out after missing, what, 40 days of football? already jumped out of retirement to come back in it. That tells me the guy still has love for the game, and Tom Brady loving football is a Tom Brady that's dangerous. Well, that's the thing. Like, knock wood, barring catastrophic injury, right? Like, knock wood. There, if there were signs, usually there are signs of deterioration, yeah. right? So you can say, hey, he has this much more left in him. But, Teddy, when you put your eyeballs on this guy on the field right now, do you see any signs that there's a, the, the runway is coming to an end here? Just the thing, it's, he, he doesn't need to be a supreme athlete to do what he's doing. I mean, it's, it's, his strength is his, is that his mental, his mental strength, his, his knowledge, his anticipation, all of that stuff, it's all mental. You know, he's taking care of his arm and, of course, his lower body, but... A pocket passer that can have the protection. You lose offensive linemen. You bring back in, I believe it's a, a Shaq Mason. I mean, those type of line. As long as you have that up front, Werf's out there protecting him. He knows when to get rid of it. He's, his Rolodex is more complete than any other quarterback in the history of the game. He knows what blitz is coming, and he can get rid of the football and stay healthy. But the one we thing actually... I'm, I'm just curious about is, Tom Brady's experiencing Bruce Arians in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, would he want to even move on and experience another organization? That's a possibility also. He can do it for that long. Maybe that's why he retired originally and then came back, because he couldn't get to where he wanted to go. Meantime, we have a time machine. We fast-forwarded to the year 2032. This is so mean. And uh, Father Tom, there he looks like <laughs> the most interesting man in the world, right? Yeah, yeah, don't ever do that to me. In fact, put the filter of really young faces when you show us here. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.